We thank you for guiding and protecting his life. We thank you for giving him health in his body. And we thank you for the strength that you have bestowed upon him. We thank you for the blessing of his wife. We thank you for his children. We thank you, Lord, that you have been so good. He can look back in 80 years, Lord. You have kept him. He's going out and he's coming in. Through the rough time and through the time. Through little and through much, you have been very gracious. And so we join in giving you all the thanks and the praises. May you bless his night. May you be with him and cover him and strengthen him. Lord, you are the only one that has his life in your hand. And you know his very future after tonight. You know his span of life, but we are grateful to you. Yes, we ask that you will continue to keep him, Lord, and help him through. And help him, Father, whatever days and years that are ahead of them, that he will graciously appreciate and live for you. Because one day, Lord, Father, you shall call him home. And so we thank you for the blessings. Lord, it is so wonderful to see this age. And we celebrate it with him, Lord. And we give you thanks. Let your blessing be upon this worship, be upon this celebration, and be upon everyone. This we ask and give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Without much ado, I hand over to our compare for the evening, no other person than Overseer Nelson. Let's give him a, a warm Thank you very much for being seated. God bless you. It's such a nice thing to be here um, tonight um, on an occasion like this. And um, you know the wonderful thing about uh, uh, when you go to a birthday party, like a Christian birthday party, we can say praise the Lord, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Can we hear somebody say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. And, you know, we're free also to say hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody give me a hallelujah. hallelujah. We're free to give the Lord a clap offering in that. You know something, when you're with the Lord, you can be as greedy as you want to because you can say praise the Lord as much as you want to. <laughs> Somebody give me another praise in there. Turn to your next door neighbor and say, neighbor. You better say it like you mean it right now. Make sure you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. It's good to be here. And you know something, neighbor? And you know something, neighbor? The Lord is here with us. Give the Lord another clap. We just thank God for this occasion tonight, and I know there's one gentleman here, and um, uh, we, we call him down at uh, Stoke Newton, we call him Dr. Kelly. <laughs> and um, I admire this man over the years, I've known him for a, a number of years, and you know, th th this is there's an unusual thing about this man, and I, I'm sure you can agree with me on this. This man doesn't seem to be getting older, but he seems to be getting younger. How many folks understand what I'm saying right now? He seems to be getting younger and younger all the time. And I thank God for what the scripture says. The scripture says, by the, listen, you, you're given three scores and ten, and by the reason of strength, don't you think he's got strength? Amen. Meanwhile, Reverend Stan, and we just give the Lord a clap offering. Oh, yeah. You know, there's something that I always admire about this man, is the way, don't sit yet, sir, don't sit yet, <laughs> because we want to sit, this man can dress, <laughs> I wouldn't dare be in a competition, dress competition, <laughs> Because I could never match what he's got. And I thank him because every time I see him, I say, well, Reverend Kelly can wear that color and he can wear that suit. I'm going to go out and buy one. Might not look as good as this one, but I know that I could go to the borderline. Doesn't he look good tonight? Yeah. And God bless you, sir. It's so nice to be here. 
And uh, uh, I would just like to use this opportunity to wish you many happy returns uh, for the day. I know it was, uh, I think your original birthday was last week, wasn't it? But thanks be to God. God has brought him through the week. God has taken care of him. He's here right now. And you may be seated. But I know that he couldn't do it all on his own. First of all, I know the Lord has been looking after him. You see, you've you got to, you, you got to uh, forgive me, I can't help talking about Jesus Christ. I can't help talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everywhere I go, I've got to talk about Jesus. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Come on, can we say praise the Lord right now? Somebody say amen right now. God has looked after him over the years, and God has left also a lady to... You know, to make sure that he's all right. Yes. And there's no other person than Mother Kelly. I'm sure yes. she's been doing a very good job. Mother, just stand and we just give Mother a hand right now. Yes. In fact, I'm going to ask our Mother to say the first word here tonight. She's going to give the first speech. Mother Kelly. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are giving God thanks tonight for this privilege of joining in this celebration of Helen's 80th birthday. You know, God is so good. He's a very good to yes. yes. bless him to reach this age. Yes. And I just give God thanks for him. He's got all his members of his body intact. Yes. And he's got, he's in his sound mind. He gave him a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And today, I just thank him for his blessings towards me. Yes. And I just want to continue to pray for him and just to pray that he will have a good year to come. Mm -hmm. And then many happy returns. Or he may live to see many more birthdays. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Now, in a few minutes more, we'll be having more uh, speeches here today. But it's a, it's a good thing not to be too long. We've got, we're very limited by time here. And uh, we expect you to stick to the time. But let me show you something. When you stay too long, this is what will happen. There's a sermon that was going on in church. A pastor known for his lengthy sermon noticed a man get up and leave during the middle of his message. The man returned just before the conclusion of the service and after, the pastor asked the man where he had gone. I went to get a haircut, was the reply. But, it, but said the pastor, why didn't you do that before the service? Because, the gentleman said, I didn't need one when they when you started. You missed that one. Oh. <laughs> Sermon took too long. By the time he's finished, he needed a haircut. God bless you. The next we got on here is Bishop Curtis. Where's Bishop Curtis? Is he here? Bishop, God bless you. Thank you, Overseer. Overseer Nelson. It reminds me of the of the pastor who was having church and uh, only one man turned up. So he said, well, he said, I think I'll cancel the service today. And the, and the one man who did come, he said, he said, look, pastor, he said, I'm a farmer. He said, if one of my, if one of my cows come in from the field, he says, uh, and only one come, he says, I still feed it. <laughs> so the pastor got the message. So he did the whole thing. <laughs> he had worship service, he had collection, he preached, and he really preached. <laughs> he done the altar call, he did everything. And afterwards he said to the man, he said, well, how did you enjoy service? He said, well, it was all right, he says. He said, but if, you know, if that one cow come in, he said, I don't give it all the food in the barn. <laughs> You know, I, I think it was in the early 80s that um, I first came to Dawes Road. And uh, sitting on the platform, there was this very distinguished looking man. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure who he, <laughs> who he was. <laughs> but uh, it was Pastor Kelly. And, um, you know, it's been a great privilege for me to be able to speak with Pastor Kelly from time to time and uh, I believe he is a he is a link to the early 
uh, Caribbean uh, Pentecostal pioneers yeah. that came to this came to this land. And when I want to know something about what happened in those early days, Pastor Kelly is the man who can who can tell me everything. He, you know, he, he a name. He, he knows the names. He knows the details. He know he knows what happens and. Uh, it's been a it's been a great pleasure to me because um, I like to I like to keep a link with a link with the past and to link with those who went with those who went before us and those who who really paid a price for some of the things that we have that we have today and Pastor Kelly I honor you to I honor you today Reverend Kelly and um, you know. Uh, I'd just like to present you with a little something on behalf of All Nations Fellowship International. This is a celebration of faithful service to Jesus Christ, Reverend Vincent Kelly, on the occasion of your 80th birthday. We wish to recognize the outstanding service of Reverend Kelly as one of the first Jamaican Pentecostal pioneers to the United Kingdom. God bless you. Fellowship. Right now, without any further ado, we're just going to ask um, Evangelist Williams from Pastor Miller, USA, just to come along right now um, and do whatever she will do right now. Give her a hand as she come along. <laughs> or she can stay there. Which you prefer to stay there? Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Congratulations to the very distinguished Pastor Kelly. Um, Pastor Kelly came to North Hold on one occasion to preach to us. And I, turned, I said to my husband afterwards, <coughs> he was, I, I, I hadn't heard Pastor Kelly preach before, but that occasion was a real blessing to my soul. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Kelly, I'm so delighted that you have achieved this 80th birthday. From all of us in North Hold, we wish you a many, many happy returns. And I've been asked to read this poem that has been sent by your friend, Pastor Miller, from, the, from America. And here it goes. Getting better every year. You're not just getting older, but you're getting better too. You've gained a lot of wisdom on the way, and you've found your talents and your strength your special style and grace. You've learned that limitations are okay. And now that it's your birthday and you start another year, has hoping you'll discover even more. And life will be richer than before. You've nurtured the relationships that means the most in life. You've shared and cared with family and friends. Thank you for giving so much for sharing so freely, for being so wonderful time after time after time. Happy 80th birthday, my friend. May God's richest blessings be yours, as always, you, Pastor Miller. Well, and I think one of the things that I've realized with our dear Reverend Kelly over the years is a man that tells you the truth. He never less than tell you the truth. And I admire that in all ministers, when it's good that you tell the truth. Let me just give you something else here. A lesson in line. Listen to this. A minister told his congregation, next week I plan to preach about the sins of lying. To help you understand my sermon, I want you all to read Mark 17. The following Sunday, as he prepared to deliver his sermon, the minister asked for a show of hands. 
He wanted to know how many had, Mar had read Mark 17. <laughs> everyone, every, everyone hands went up. The minister smiled and said, Mark has only 16 chapters and I will now proceed with my message of the sins of life. We're just going to hear from our Pastor Williams right now. Pastor Williams, I don't know if you want to stay where you are. Praise the Lord. Let's give him a hand, Pastor Williams. Right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. This evening, I just want to give honor to God also for His love and grace towards us in everything. I want to honor Pastor Kelly and his wife in a very special way and appreciate this time that they are sharing with us together. I've known this man since we come into this fellowship and he's very, very calm, collective, quiet person. And I also admire the way Pastor Kelly dresses. <laughs> I said to my wife, this man is the best dressed man in the fellowship. <laughs> and just, just in a nutshell, I just want to wish him the very, very best in life. And uh, I'm grateful to God for him, for his age. And that he's still collective, still sober, yeah. still stand flat footed, yeah. Yeah. and a well behaved person. <laughs> and for the rest of his posterity, may he continue to bud and to grow and to shine and enjoy the rest of life that God has planned for him. We love you, sir. Thank you, sir. We respect you. Yeah. And we are celebrating your evening together with you. God bless you. Right now, the other people are hungry, so let's bow our heads. I'm just going to ask God's blessing on what we're about to receive. If you started, that's all right. We're blessing wherever it's gone at this moment. Bow your heads. Father God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you, God, for your love, and we thank you for your peace that passes all understanding. We thank you, God, for bringing us here tonight on this occasion. Right now, Lord, we pray, God, your blessing upon the provisions that's being made. We know that some are not as fortunate as us, but at the same time, we give you thanks for what you've provided for us right now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. You may have a seat. You can finish it now. It's, uh, I'll tell you what you're drinking. Hold on a second. I hope you know you're drinking holy soup right now. Right, now the next person we're going to have, uh, we're going to ask uh, Pastor Eccleston from the Assemblies of the First Born. You're going to say something for us. Uh, let's give him a hand. Uh, that's all right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a joy and privilege to be here on this special occasion. And I'm going to declare the Reverend Kelly as a special man mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. Now my first father-in-law died at the age of 90. Mm -hmm. And here I am tonight having another father-in-law at the age of 80. Yes. <laughs> and with the help of God, I hope and trust that he will not only live to see 90, but he will live to see 100. Amen. 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 The Bible says, with long life will I satisfy thee. And I'm pronouncing long life upon Pastor Kelly. God bless you, sir. We just praise the Lord for that. Now, another uh, expression here I want to give of a preacher in church. Now, a preacher was completing a temperance ceremony, preaching hard like anything. With a great expression, he said, 
If I had all the beer in the world, I'd take it and throw it into the river. All right. With even greater emphasis, he said, if I had all the wine in the world, I, I would take it and throw it into the river. As he pounded on the, uh, uh, on the rastrum and preaching the word of God. And then finally he said, if I had all the whiskey in the world, I'd take it and throw it into the river. As he pounded the rastrum again, he sat down. And then the song leader then stood very cautiously and announced with a smile for the closing song, let us sing him, shall we gather? Looks like I'm going to have to look for some new one. Alright, we're going to ask Okay, tonight I'd like to thank God for Pastor Kelly. He's been a strength, a tower of strength in my life ever since I met him. And this was over 30 years ago. I want to thank God for the family of God because had it not been that I came into this family, I would not have known this man. He's been there for me over the years. Many, many times he's taken me to the airport and taken me back. When I was at university, my car broke down, he'd be there. I remember he was towing my car back to the garage in London, all the way from Kent. And I'm driving, staring my car, and I'm saying, oh my God, I hope we don't crash. But he was there. I want to thank God for all those times when he was a counselor, an instructor, a preacher. He has been a friend. He's been there for me all the time. And I thank God that it only through his mercy and his grace that I could actually stand here to know that he's kept me in his place. So I ask God to touch his life, that he might have the strength to go on to many, many more years. And I pray that while he continues to do that, he will bless many other lives. Because my life has been touched by him in my life. God bless you, Pastor Kelly. And I pray that the blessings of God will never cease to be upon you. I wonder if we could just say praise the Lord again. Oh, I want to feel at home. Somebody praise the Lord for me. Oh, that's good right now. Um, I think it is um, Sister Diane Douglas. Is she here? Sister Diane, just give her a hand. Happy birthday. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Thank you very much. Thank you guys for that. Now we're going to have a song by the Fulham Youth Choir. They're going to come along on that. You will still be up here, Tom. The Fulham Youth Choir.
the time I came to Doss Road, I always looked at you and I admired the way you walked into church. Oh, very, very special. You, know, you come in with your nice clothes and I look at you from head to foot and everything matches. Yeah. You know, everything simply coordinates together. There's nothing out of place. But apart from that, I want to thank God for the example, the spiritual example that you have set before me. You know, I listen to the way you preach and your message touches my heart. You know, there's something about you, especially when you go, Wooey! <laughs> 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 and it seems to just jump from the altar. Yeah. It jumps from the pulpit and it touches the congregation. Yes. It just lifts my spirit. Glory to God. And even my son says to me, Does a Pastor Kelly preach nicely? I want to thank God for you, Pastor Kelly. There's not many people that have reached this age and are still walking strong in the faith. And I want to glorify God for your going out and your coming in. I thank you for his protection as you travel abroad. I thank you because he protects you on the plane and he brings you back safely. And tonight it is a wonderful privilege to reach this age, 80 years old, with all your knees intact. You know, you might be getting down and if you don't look it. You know, some people at your age, they can't hear, they can't see. They can't speak, but you're still driving your car and you're coming to church every Sunday as long as the Lord gives you strength. And I want to thank God for you, Pastor Kelly. I know there are times when you pinch me as you pass and you, you say to me, it's because I love you. Pastor Kelly, I know you love me and I love you too. And I pray that this love will continue to be engendered in our hearts. I thank God because every time you stand up, you sing this song, we have an anchor. Every time I open the book and I see the song, I remember you, Pastor Kelly. Continue to let your anchor go down. Continue to let your roots go down and to draw substance from the Lord your God because he's promised in his word that he will never leave you, he will never forsake you. May the Lord continue to walk before you. May he continue to hold your hand. May he continue to guide your footsteps. May he continue to overshadow you. No matter what comes, the songwriter says your life is in his hand. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give us know that our life is in the hands of Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Right now, we're just going to have another uh, speech from uh, Evangelist Fountain. She, he, 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 Praise God. Praise uh, we are here to celebrate his 80th birthday. I just want to give God thanks for his life, for what he has done and what he's doing. And um, I thank God I'm, I'm part of this church, those are church where I sit down next to Pastor Kelly on the platform. Mm -hmm. And um, on to Pastor Kelly is a man with um, great experience. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you ask him certain questions, he doesn't want to ask you somebody, but it is not necessary, he will say, hear my cry. Yes. <laughs> Another thing he will say again, my tongue is older than my teeth. <laughs> and once I asked Pastor Kelly, why do you use that word? And he said to me, I was born with my tongue, but my teeth grow. <laughs> I just want to give God all the praise and all the glory as my pastor will continue to live his life in Jesus' name. Thank God for the man of God as well. He's a man of wisdom as well. I know that over the years, um, I, you know, I picked up something from him. I, 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 I would say this, and I remember he was speaking to a minister in my presence one day. And the minister did all he could to, 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 to get, uh, um, what was he doing? He was doing a teaching lesson. And he went out to the minister, he says, you know something? Of all the lessons and all the things that you've learned, you must learn never to preach over the people's head or to teach over their head. And you know, straight away I learned something. You're not preaching over people's head. Don't preach something that they don't understand. Make sure you always say something that will settle in their hearts, settle in their souls and help them along the way. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Come on, so let's say amen. 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 
Hallelujah. Right now, we're just going to ha have another speech from Sister Dory. She's going to come along, Sister Dory. We're just going to ask Sister Doris, so she's just going to come along and she's going to speak on behalf of Evangelist Grange, who's not well and who would have loved to have been here. Sister Doris. song by Sister Joy and Company. Sister Joy. So that one day 
day, one day your face we may see. Oh, step by step, we'll make this journey. Thank you. 
Sister Edwards is going to come along and give her a speech right now. Give her a hand as you come along. Sister Edwards. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
out uh, for everything, and we're just going to change the mood just for a second to allow you just to um, have your meal. We're just going to have some music now, and then we'll be the end of the first part, and then we'll get back to you. So God bless you, and God keep you. Thank you so much for your cooperation so far. Enjoy your meal. I'm sure you well cooked. God bless you. More filled up now than you were um, a few minutes ago. I'm sure you can go on for a few more minutes. Is that right? Yes. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Praise Come on, say it again for me. Praise now you say praise the Lord like you're sleeping now. Can somebody say praise the Lord for me? Praise the Lord! Uh, we got some folks that's waking up right now. That's good. Anyway. Let's see, um, you know, sometimes you give a sermon in church and you sometimes try to raise some offering in some way. Hear this one. <laughs> one beautiful Sunday morning, a priest announced to his congregation, My good people, I have here in my hands three sermons. How many sermons did I say? Three. Right. The first sermon is a hundred pounds. That will last for five minutes. What did I say? A hundred pounds will last for how long? Five minutes. Five minutes. The second sermon is for 50 pounds. And that will last 15 minutes. Right, so how long was the first one? Five minutes. For how much money? The second one was for how long? 15 minutes. For how much? 50 pounds. Right. And for the last ceremony, the third one, it's 10 pounds, and that will last one hour. What? <laughs> you hear that? 10 pounds. So let's start again. First ceremony will last five minutes. For how much? Second ceremony will last for? 15 minutes. For how much? 15 pounds. The last ceremony will last for what? One hour. One hour for how much? 10 pounds. All right, here it is. Now, we'll take the collection. And see which one I'll deliver. <laughs> I'll leave you to put that one out. <laughs> you want the ten pound one? For so one hour? No. Oh. Right now, we're just going to put our hands together um, for Brother Levan. He's going to come along and give his speech right now. Brother Levan. Brother Levan.
Right, just stand up. This is our main camera person there. Our brother. Yeah. Come along and just take some pictures here. You may take your pictures as they do it. On the count of three. You want just a second. Just a second. On the count of three. Just a second. He's going to come in a few minutes. And isn't it a beautiful cake, by the way? I don't know who baked the cake. Right, get ready now on the count of three. All right. Got to make sure it's right. All right, okay, on the count of three together. One, two, three. Okay, let's give him a hand. And whilst they're still standing there, we're going to sing this song. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done for me. school 
I was so small till I never go to school until I was nine. <laughs> and all the people, or the young people, used to tell me that I don't grow. <laughs> and one time I just begin to grow. <laughs> and I grow bigger than them. Yes. <laughs> and become stronger than them. Yes. Yeah, I'll tell you, in the year 1947, the 27th of March, a day I remember when I went to an altar and prayed and said, Lord, you know my heart desire mm. and my life have just begun from there. Yeah. And I could say March coming, it could be 62 years mm. since I'm standing on holy ground. Amen. Amen. My life is in Uh, a word from Brother Paul when he tells of all that happens to him he said none of these things move me because he had a mission and a commission and thank God he lived to when he come to the end of his days he could have said I have thought I have finished every faith and I have finished my course and he went on to say, he's laid up in heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. A crown of righteousness. Yes. With the God, the Lord himself, yes. will give unto everyone that love is appearing. Yes. He never said the bishop. He never said the pastor. Yes. But he said the Lord himself. Yes. Hallelujah. I need to preach now. Will give unto everyone that love yes. is Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. You know, when I, when I begin to talk, I feel something. That's a good word. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. You know, sometimes, you know, we have a song we sing in Jamaica. Every time you talk, talk about, about Jesus, Jesus, I feel good. I feel good. Come on. Yeah. 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 Tonight. Uh -huh. And I want to tell you that somebody say, tell me the secret. I can tell you what is the secret of my life. I don't worry. Amen. Ah, praise the Lord. Yes. The Lord promised to take care of me. Yes. And He has been doing it. Yes. And He has done it. Yes. And I feel great happy tonight. Yes. As I live to see a great old age of 80. Yes. It's my first daughter sitting here. And she's beautiful. Yes. That's Sister Margaret, that brother loving husband. Yes. But I'm giving God thanks. And I, I want to thank the people who have made this night possible. Yes. Yes. From the day I was born, I try to remember. And it's the first time someone ever do something in my honor. Yeah. And I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart tonight. And all those who have cooperated in whatever way, I want to thank you. I want to thank those who came from far and near, Bishop and Pastor Curtis, all the way from Northampton. Yeah. God bless you so much. I say something in my behalf. God bless you, and I want to live up to what you have said. You know, sometimes people say a lot of things and people don't live up to it. But I want to live up to it. I want to thank Pastor T for making it possible that we could use it all. And the lovely prayer that you pray. And all those who have cooperated, your time will come. Because I, I believe something, you know, that the virus of whatsoever a man's soul is free. That they shall that that they all so free. And if you I think it was somebody preached that in church that if you saw nothing, you can't read nothing. And remember, if you so if you plant corn, you can't read this. So whatsoever you saw. We shall be. I want to thank the master ceremony that yeah. came from so far to be here tonight. I want to say I, I love everybody, but I have a special love for that man. From the day we met, our spirit unite. And everywhere I go, you see me always be happy. And if you ask him to come, he will come and 
Anywhere he is, he will make the place lively. Yeah. And she was the master ceremony at Sister Eggleston wedding. And he do a very, very good job. Very, very good job. And God bless you, sir. Thanks again. And thanks for your effort. You know, the Bible says every step that a righteous man made is numbered by the Lord. Praise him. And I just thank you all for coming. It's a night when it's not so warm. But thank you again for coming. And God bless you. God bless you again. God bless you all. Now let me say again, thanks to the Father Griffith and all everybody that come tonight. I just want to thank you all. The caterers, thank you. Thank you for the food. We appreciate it. To invite you to come into the family of God because it's the best family on earth. And what woman said, I am so glad that I'm a part of the family of God. I've been in this family for 62 years. And let me tell you something somebody says, getting sweeter as the days go by. There was a story told that a little boy begged his mother a lolly. And he was eating this lolly, but he never he wanted to finish it, but he never wanted to finish. And when he get to part, he said, Mommy, it's sweeter as I'm going down to the end. <laughs> and he never he want to eat it, he never want to finish it. I'm hoping to God that when I shall have come to the end of my journey, I shall hear well done. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God for all that I have done. And the Lord that has put in me strength and I, I don't feel ill. And I don't feel weak. I feel like going on. I'm not finished at 80. I'm not finished yet. I feel like going on. And you pray for me. I mean well for the Lord. Thank you again for coming. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you who have came to make this evening a success. Thank those who make it possible. And I know who to blame for it. I'm going to keep it till later on when I see them by themselves. Then I blame them for it. But thank you again. And it's a very pleasant evening. And it's the first in my 80 years something ever been kept in my honor like this. The only thing I can remember when I was leaving Jamaica and the young people meet at church to say farewell to me. If it was in my power, I would take my fear back and stay with them in Jamaica. The amount of love and appreciation that they have passed on to me and they told me that I was indispensable in their life and I could not be replaced. But thank God my footprints will be leaving, will be on the sands of time when I'm gone from this world. And a lot of people from the state would like to come but the weather is bad and everything is bad. But thank you all that came here tonight and God bless you. I am saying to the Lord, I am not independent of your prayer. You pray for me that I will do well for the rest of my life. Amen. I would like you just to get your glasses filled just for a moment. Um, get your, your orange shoes, apple juice, whatever it is. And we just like to fill our glasses. And uh, we just like to stand at this moment. I'm just going to ask everyone just to stand right now. We thank God. All right. So we just, uh, all right. Somebody's controlling things out there, I'm sure. We just thank God for. Uh,
everything and we thank God for the most reverend Vincent Kelly and we just want to pray that God will continue to bless him and it's on this note I would like us all just to raise our God glasses in respect to the man of God and just wish him all the bless, blessings that God can give. Blessings to you, Reverend Kelly, in Jesus' name. Come on, let's say it together. Blessings to you, Reverend God bless you. Thank you very much. Let's give the man of God another hand. Right now, the time is going very quickly. I'm just going to breathe. We're just going to change the mood again. We're going to ask Sister Margaret the band just to come along with Reverend Kelly's beautiful daughter, as he said. She's going to come along. I think we're going to have a quiz now, so we're going to ask everyone to cooperate with this. God bless you. Give her a hand, Ed Sheet. Thanks, Lord. Praise the Lord. I give honor to the Holy Spirit and I give to you all my brothers in the precious name of Jesus. Isn't it wonderful when you are saved and you are with another lot you know, of God's people that you feel at ease with them? Isn't it wonderful? Yes. And it proves that your spirit bear with them. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I give God thanks for my dad. You know, God has brought him a long way. He has been through his trials and tribulations, but he's standing right here. And I know that God has blessed him with long life and also mom, because mom isn't far behind. I thank God that I can say both my parents are still alive. for this, that I can still have both my parents here. And, you know, Dad has been there for, for me um, over the years. He, when I passed exams, he would jump up and down with me and rejoice with me, you know, it was just wonderful. And I thank God for sparing his life. I just pray that God will give him many, many more um, years. Yeah. Because as you see, he looks like maybe in his 50s. That's right. <laughs> so, you know, I'm sure that, you know, the Lord will bless him with many more years and we'll continue to pray for him. And also, he's very infectious when he preaches, right? He brings in a lot of people because when he speaks, he draws people to him, you know, and I think that's a blessing. I pray that God will continue to help him in that direction as well. And that many more people will be brought into the kingdom. <coughs> and I thank Mum also for being here. And I know that she's very quiet, but she's she's also quite infectious. If you get to know Mum, <laughs> uh, just give that another hand, please. Yeah, sure. Very soon, so I don't want to take up too much time. But I'm going to. Um, well, something very, very special happened very recently. Can anybody tell me what it was? That's right. And I'm going to ask him some questions just to see who paid attention. Okay, so, or who's been following what's been going on. Now, somebody mentioned his name. What did you say his name was? Right. I've got a CD to give to someone, the person who answers the most questions. So don't shout the answer out. <coughs> You've got to put your hand up. If Sister Audrey, can you come out here and um, and then try to identify those who put their hand up first, okay? Because this must be fair. And it's only one prize we've got. So um, we've got to, if we've got a tie, we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so who's the president? You say, oh, you said that one. What is the president's middle name? What is the, his date of birth? <laughs> no one knows his date of birth? 4th of August 1961. Okay, what is his religion? No, I need to know 
the church that he goes to, really. Baptist. No. no. Maybe Pentecostal, but it's not his name. If, if, if nobody gets it, I'll give her a Pentecostal, yeah? But anyone knows? No. It's the United Church of Christ, okay? What is his nickname? Yeah? Barrett? No. No. There's a special name they call him since he's, since he's been in office. Anyone? No. No. All right, tell us. They call him the one. The one. What is his mother's name?
say a very special thank you to Sister Eckelstein, which is Sister Audrey, as you know her by her name, who have worked very hard do all the advice and she and Sister Margaret has made it possible for your to come here tonight. And I want to tell her that I thank her very much and I appreciate what she has done and may the Lord bless her. And that's what I want to say. She and Sister Margaret is make tonight worthwhile that we should come here. Thank you. We also give, let's give our dear sister Audrey Eccleston another hand. Now we're going to uh, have a presentation to Pastor Kelly by our sister here. Give her a hand as she come along. Ministers, the officers, the brethren, and the children, we would like to present to Pastor Kelly this gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And second to last, we're going to bring again a song by Sister Audrey Eccleston. She's going to come along, sing a song right now. Just give her a hand as she come along. Can I explain? 
through the evening and for bringing us thus far. Um, I would just like to say something here. My mother, before she left us to be with the Lord, there's one thing she always left with us as her sibling. She says, children, I might not have riches to give you, but the one thing you must always remember, Psalms 121. Yes. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Oh, you didn't hear what I'm saying. I said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from who? Can we have a praise right now for the Lord? Somebody said, praise the Lord again. Somebody said, praise the Lord again. I'm like, you know, sometimes I feel like Jeremiah. I feel like fire. Shut up. Yeah. Every time I talk about Jesus, yeah. I feel good. Yeah. I'm not going to trigger off tonight. No. I'm only talking now. I'm not yeah. preaching. But you know, God is good to us. And we can evidently see that God can be good to all of us. We're going to stand at this moment.